Hi, Justin David here again. Um, very, very quick demonstration of the rack focus function in Magic Lantern. It's not something that I've used before, um, but I was just playing around with Magic Lantern the other day and I came across it. I was, I was aware of it, but I'd never actually tried it. So I thought I would investigate it and, and get it working. And I, I'm really impressed with it. It's a really, really useful feature, especially if you want to continually rack between two points over and over again in a scene. It's very, very useful. You can change the step size, so the speed at which it racks. You can also change the time delay. So does the rack start as soon as you press the set button or does it say happen five seconds in? You can simply repeat the rack focus just by pressing the set button over and over again to repeat between uh, the two focus uh, points. Um, so I thought I would just go through a, a very, very basic tutorial to show you how you can actually achieve it. So we're going to now jump over to a, a, an alternative video with me actually showing you how to achieve the result. OK, so I'm now um, trying to film the uh, Magic Lantern screen. Uh, so apologies for the uh, poor quality. Um, but you can see um, my mouth. I've zoomed in, uh, I've only got an f4 lens on, so I've, I've zoomed in quite considerably to, to try, try and create quite a short depth of field. And what I'm going to do is show you how we can automatically rack between, say, my mouth and let's say the lava lamp in the background. Okay, so what I want to be able to do is I want the camera to automatically kind of do this for us um, because it's a lot more accurate than trying to gauge. If you, unless you've got hard stops on your follow focus, it's very difficult to work out exactly where the uh, the follow focus should be um, adjusted to. So what you basically do with the rack focus command on Magic Lantern is you set your end point. So let's make sure that I'm just using these focus assist points here. Let's make sure that my mouth is totally in focus. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Magic Lantern menu. And we're going to go to the focus screen, which we've got here. And where it says focus end point, what we're going to do is press the set button. And then we're going to use the left and right arrows to shift the focus to the lava lamp in the background. You can see I keep pressing it. It says 12 steps, 14 steps. I should say I've got the step size on two, by the way. If you have it on one, it can actually be a very, very slow rack focus. So. There we go. So I'd say that was um, now in focus on the lava lamp and that's 20 focus uh, steps. So we're now going to press the trash can button again to go back in. And then when we're ready to perform the rack focus, all we have to do is press the magic lantern button again, go on to rack focus, and then we're just going to press the set button. And there we go. And we press it again. And again, and as you can see, it's racking really quite nicely. So um, I hope that was a useful little tutorial. I think it's a really powerful um, feature. Go away and have a play with Rack Focus in Magic Lantern. Thanks for watching.